I was drawn to virtual reality simulation and implementing it in nursing education from my husband's career in computer simulation and gaming. And when he was at school at TU, he got my interest in virtual reality simulation and I thought, wow, if no one's doing this in nursing, they're behind the times. So I found out who was doing it in nursing, hunted them down, and then talked to my director and got everything rolling so that we could implement it in nursing education here at TU. We started the use of virtual reality simulation in nursing education at TU last semester, so the spring of 2021, and we are now using it our second semester here, fall 2021. When the nursing students have the headset on, they're watching a virtual room. They have a patient in the room and a nursing assistant in the room that they can click to ask for help if they're stuck they can treat the patient just like they would if they were there hands-on. They can ask them questions, they can listen to them with a stethoscope, and then they decide, do I need to call the doctor from here? Do I need to give them a medication from here? And all of that is available. So there's an emergency crash cart, there's a computer, a clipboard with more information, a sink to wash their hands, and they can click on all that in the scenario. I think the, the VR um, field concept helps a lot with me wanting to be the kind of nurse that I want to be and to be a good nurse because it gives you a place to jump off from. As much as I know a lot from the patient side, obviously, but there's still so much I don't know, to the point where I, I don't even know what I don't know. And having the VR to just start off with options, especially last semester when I was like a baby nursing student, had no concept of anything that was going on, and having those options to be like, okay, you can, do you want to do an assessment? Here are things you can talk to the patient about. We want to ask them about this. And having a safe place to fail is kind of good, whether it's in VR or in our simulation lab, because I think in real clinical practice, we would be scared to make any sort of decision because like, I don't want to hurt the patient. Nursing students have a lot of anxiety. When they go into clinicals and take care of patients for the first time, they're extremely anxious. So we implemented simulation years ago in nursing education to give them something hands-on that was not with a live patient to get them practice before they did get to those patients. However, we've seen that even with hands-on simulation with very expensive mannequins, the students are very anxious in those simulations. So now we're adding virtual reality simulation as an additional component before hands-on simulation, before clinicals with patients, to give them extra practice. The students have said they like that it gives them what to say. They click on a response and then the computer does a little bit of the work versus hands-on simulation where they have to come up with the response and do the work. So it's just a different style of simulation that gives them different feedback and different opportunities for practicing before they go in and take care of real patients.